All right. In this video, we're going to use Sudoku techniques to solve a diabolical puzzle. This is the answer sheet to the previous video. The previous video was a pop quiz, which is a video where I just fill in numbers and I don't explain how I got those numbers. And your job is to uh, understand how I got each number. My name is Harold Nolte. I have uh, over 150 videos on Sudoku techniques and also a website, sudokuprimer.com, that has a lot of techniques and patterns and other information that you can, um, that will help you learn how to solve Sudoku puzzles. Uh, the website also has a video index of all the videos in this channel. So check out uh, sudokuprimer.com. And so in this video, uh, like I said, we're we're going to I'm going to explain how I got each number in the previous video in the pop quiz. If you haven't already seen the pop quiz video, I'd recommend that you go back and watch that first, and then come to this this video, and uh, uh, this will be the answer sheet. <coughs> So we're going to use Sudoku techniques like um, unique rectangles or uh, the ambiguity rule as it's known on sudokuprimer.com in the techniques section. We're going to use twins and triplets, we're going to use uh, row and column completion, solving sections, and other techniques in order to, to solve this. I'm going to fill in the numbers in the same order as the previous video, as the pop quiz, but in this video I'm going to explain um, how I got each number. If you still have questions or if you want to let me know what you think about the pop quiz, pop quizzes and uh, um, answer sheets or anything else, uh, please leave a comment. Okay, the first thing that we filled in was a 4 right there and uh, this one could be a little bit tricky is this could be a four but um, if you if you look at these two boxes right here you'll notice that there are one five twins right here there's also a six and an eight here so these are six eight twins so we have right here we're missing I mean the only numbers that we're missing are two five, six, seven two seven and nine and over here, since we have one five twins right there, we're missing one, two, three, four, three, four, nine right here. So this four is here because we've got fours here. We got ghost fours here with these three, four, nine triplets and a four there. So that's the only place a four can go. And then I placed a nine there for the same reason. We've got two seven nine triplets here and three four nine triplets here. And we got a nine and a nine there, so we know that's a nine. And then I placed a two and a three here. And the way I got those was if you look here, we're missing one, two, three, five, seven, and eight. Two, three, five, seven, and eight. And we've got a two we've got two threes here so that can't be a two three two threes here so that can't be two or three and two threes here so that can't be a two or a three so these have to be five seven and eight and these are two three twins now how did I know that's a two and that's a three well if you remember we got one five tw twins here which leaves three four and nine here um, three four nine triplets here so that can't be a three so I know that was a two and that's a three All right, and then we put a three there that's pretty self-explanatory some of the simpler numbers I won't explain but uh, leave a comment if you don't understand why I uh, why they go there alright and then we got a 
two here and an eight here. So these are two eight twins, and there's a two there already, so we know that's a two, and that's an eight. And we got a one there, that's very clear why. Now I notice we have a two, three, four, five, seven, five and seven, five, seven twins here. We can't solve them yet. We only have a five and a seven left here now that we've filled in this eight, so we can fill those in. <coughs> okay. And now that we put the five there, we can fill in these one five twins that we saw right at the beginning. three here. We have ghost threes here, so we have three, 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 and a one, one, one. So these are one, three twins, so we can fill those in because of this one here. Okay, with that three, we know this is a three. And now what are we missing in row eight here? Three, five, nine. Three, five, and nine. And we got a three and a nine there, so we knew that was a five. Okay, now with this five and this five, we know that's a five there. Okay, which leads us to putting a five right there. Okay, once we've put this five here, we know these five seven twins that we knew that I mentioned earlier that we can fill those in and now the only thing that's left here is six eight so we know that's a six and that's an eight this eight completes that row now we only have a six and a seven left there With the six and seven here, we can fill in the six eight twins that we found earlier. The six eight twins we found right at the beginning. We know that that's an eight. That one's pretty easy. That's an eight, pretty clear. Okay, let's look at row one now. What are we missing? Two, four, and nine. We got a two and a nine there, so we know that's a four. Now we're missing a two and a nine. There's a nine, so that's a two and that's a nine. Okay, now we're, what are we missing in row two here? Five, seven, and nine. There's a five and a nine, so that's a seven. And now, so we know that's a nine and that's a five because of that nine right there. All right, we complete box two and row or column four with that two. That's easy. Now we had these three, four nines here. first number I placed was a 9 there. Now how did I get that 9? Well, if you look here, we've got a 4 and a 9 here and a 4 and a 9 here. So we know these are 4 9 twins. We can also see that from this column here. Okay, we've got a 4 here and a 4 here. So we know one of these is a 4. Okay, now how did we know that this is a 9? Well, if we have four 9 twins here, the ambiguity rule 
tells us that we can't have 4 or 9 here. If you're not familiar with the ambiguity rule, go to the Sudoku Primer Techniques section and look it up. It's a very powerful concept that will help you find numbers in, in more difficult puzzles. And in this case, we know neither one of these can be a 9 because one of these is a 4 and one of these is a 4, or these are 4 9 twins. So because of the ambiguity, ambiguity rule or unique rectangles, we know that that's a 9. Okay, And with that, now we have 3 and 4 left, and we got a 3 there. So we can fill those in. Okay. All right. And now, let's see. Um, now we've got uh, 1, 4, and 9 missing here in box 1. So there's a, a 9 there because of the 1 and 4. Right? And then there's a 4 here, so we know that's a 4 and that's a 1. Okay, now we're only missing a 2 and a 3 here, so we can fill those in. Okay, and then this middle column here, 1 and 7 are missing, so we can fill those in. And now we have 6, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Now we have 6 and 7 missing here. There's a 7 there. So we can fill those in and then we know that's a 6. That completes that box and that row. Now we have 5 and 7 here that we can fill in. Those are obvious. And then the 4 and the 9 now once we place this 4 here, we could have filled in these 4 and four nine twins, but in the pop quiz I didn't do it that way. I went and did some other things. Um, so we we'll filled that in later. And then all we have missing is a 6 and a 9 there. So that's a 9, and that's a 6. And that's it. So that's how we got this, uh, um, how we solved this diabolical puzzle in the pop quiz. Uh, these, these twins right here, these 1, 5 twins and 6, 8 twins, they got us started with the 4 and the 9. And then we found these 2 and 3, 2, 3 twins here. And we were able to fill those in. And then we used uh, some other techniques to, uh, get going on uh, on some of the other the rest of the puzzle and then we found this nine using unique rectangles or the ambiguity rule which is in sudokuprimer.com um, and again let me reiterate that's a very powerful concept that you probably want to learn about if you're not familiar with it because it'll help you in a lot of puzzles um, so Using those techniques, we uh, were able to solve this fairly difficult puzzle pretty quickly. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped. Please leave me a comment if you uh, have any questions or just want to let me know what you think, or if you have a puzzle that you'd like me to uh, take a look at um, and possibly solve in a video. I'll see you on the next video.